Hi there, this is Roman and it's Marketing Watch House. And today we continue talking about Google Ads scripts. I hope you enjoyed the previous video. I will try to make all these videos better and please leave your feedback below and tell me what I should to improve and what's going and what is the most interesting topic for you so I can make this video really, really useful. So we're going to, to modify the script that we wrote in the previous video. What we're going to do here we are going to create a labels for the ads that we are stopping. And it's quite an important thing because when we stop something, we wanted to apply, we wanted to see and to control the changes. For example, if we run the script every day and this script actually pause something every day, I wanted to go and to check what was paused. And if I have an error with the script, I will just I will just go to my account filter by label and re-enable everything that was wrongly paused. I will use as a fundamental thing the script that we wrote previously that actually goes and pause bad ads inside the ad group. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another function that actually will create the label and that will apply the label. But before that, let's have a look on agenda. So we have two, sorry, steps. We have to do three main things. When you apply a label in a Google Ads script, Google Ads expect this label already exist inside the account. So what do we have to do? We have to check if this label exists. If it does not exist, we have to create this label and then we need to apply this label. Apply label is very easy. So let's start with this. We go to the script, we go here and we say add array dot i apply label yeah apply label and here is the label name i don't have this variable and i'm going to create it i'm going to create it on the very top before all the iterations because if i will create it here i will create it several times in account and then actually want this so i will put it here label name equals create new create label and here we pause ads so this is going to be our function let's just copy it here and put it here this function is going to make sure that the label actually exists and it will construct for us a label name so here we need to change it to label name and here we're going to do what we're going to do I wanted to create a label that actually contains information about the date and uh, month and the year so we need to have a var variable today that is going to be a date object then we're going to make a variable day which is going to be today dot get date then variable month today get month and I will increase it by one because the January in this function is actually zero and variable year or let's make it this way equals today get full year and another thing that when I actually create the date for example if today is the 1st of Jan it will return me 1 but if today is the 10th of Jan it will return me 10 I want this script to return me 0 1 in case it's a 1st Jan in that case all my dates will be for example day month and year instead of having this because this is less readable and it's much more difficult to sort by this type of date if day is less than 10 I'm going to apply dd equals 0 plus dd and I'm going to do the same for month because month also contains and then let's construct uh, sorry, this is a mistake. Uh, let's construct the actual variable. Let's construct today equals month plus 
underscore plus day plus underscore plus year. So this is going to be our label name, uh, our date for a label name. And then we need to con concatenate this function name we're going to apply for the label. So what action we do, we pause the ads. And we're going to use this function a lot in the future lessons, so that's why it's very important. So instead of having today, I'm going to have a label name and, sorry, a new label name. And let's put label name in the beginning. So, and let's put underscore. This will construct me a label, for example, pause ads. 0104-2022-23. This is how the label will look like. So what we need to do next, we need to actually make sure that this ad exists in the account. For this, I'm going to use a very magic function, AdWords, sorry, Ads App, Labels, with condition name equals remember these quotes so the final version should be correct new label name plus this dot get dot has next so if this itera iteration actually has nothing, we need to actually create a label. And it's very easy. It's adds app create label. Sorry. Let's create label and then new label name. So this means that the something that goes after it is false, so this actually contains zero, and this is what we're going to do. If we have here, I think that's app just, uh, yes, that's app. So if we just put it as app somewhere here, and if the label exists, the script will return the error because it expects us to create only the label that never never existed. So that's why we need to check if label exists. And we also need to return the function, the, the return the actual name in the end. So actually our script works this way. If we put this function somewhere inside this cycle, it also won't create it each time we need it but this function will be called several hundred of times each, each time we iterate through ad groups. We don't, wanna, we don't wanna it to behave this way. We put it here and we initialize the label name only once. Let's actually check if everything is correct because actually I'm not sure. Definitely have some mistakes here. Mm, we have something missing on the line Here is not equals. Let's also change it in the source file. And again, we need to delete the conditions that are created for you. So for debug purposes, let's check. It doesn't have uh, an error, that's very good. No, it has. So it is an object, line 47. Let's check. Today get month. It's not a function, definitely. Sorry. It's an object, not a function. I think the sublime just put it inside. I'm not very good with the spell spelling today. And I'm very sorry it takes so much time each time I run it. Okay, it works. And I can go to the changes and you will see that the label actually added it to account and it applied to each ad I post. And if I run it and go to account, I will actually see it's happening inside. 
So one more thing I forgot to show you last time. If I go here and change this script information to frequency information to daily, this script will be run automatically each day, each hour, or weekly, or monthly, or once, each time you want. So I promised to show it in the previous video, but I forgot. Hope you enjoyed this video. Ask your comments below, leave your proposals, leave your questions, and I really need your feedback to make these videos much better. Thank you very much, and sorry for so many misspells. Bye-bye.